The Vancouver Canucks just lost another one. Another one. Add another one. This is DJ Khaled all up in here in the city of Vancouver here in the Lower Mainland. Zucker got himself two power play goals. Parisi with the other goal. 3-2 the final for the Minnesota Wild over the Vancouver Canucks. We take this L once again, but in this game, L is for Levo, or Levo, or however you want to pronounce it. I'm a Leafs fan, secondary to being a Canucks fan, so I've heard Levo, I've heard Levo. Personally, I say Levo. It rolls off the tongue easier for me. I know John Garrett says Levo, too, so if you criticize me for not saying Levo, hey, it's uh, Jonathan Dalian and Elias Pettersson. It's the same thing, basically like that. But this was another L. And the Vancouver Canucks are totally in the mode where they are just, let's say, tanking. Now, I'm not going to imply that they're intentionally losing games. That's not anything that I ever wanted to bring up or suggest in these videos. But... Throughout these games, we've been losing by the slimmest of margins, giving goals up at the very end of games, not scoring goals at the very end of games. Just like this one, where Brock Besser had such a good pass from Pedersen and had to reposition himself just for a few moments that allowed the Minnesota defender to block the shot. If he just had himself positioned a little bit better, it would have been in. It would have been overtime, and the Vancouver Canucks maybe would have won away with a win. Who knows? But this one was a 3-2 loss, and the important story of this game today is the new addition to the Vancouver Canucks traded for Michael Carcone, Josh Levo, who a lot of people from Toronto, myself included, have been praising because of his shot. But have identified him as a player who hasn't had all the opportunities as a player in the NHL just because he plays for the Leafs who have such a stacked forward core. It's so deep. It's so deadly. And overall, Levo wasn't a guy who was able to slot in on that top nine. What with Matthews, Marner, Nylander, Kapanen, Marlowe, Hyman, Kadri, Andreas Janssen, and John Tavares, there was no room for Levo even though he was a player who has a really good shot, and who a lot of Toronto fans, myself included, generally regarded as a good player. Which is why, in his first game with the Vancouver Canucks, he started out on a line with Elias Pettersson and Brock Besser. And what does he do in this first game with Elias Pettersson and Brock Besser? He gets himself an absolute snipage of a goal, bar down, assisted by Elias Pettersson and Brock Besser. This was awesome. And a lot of people were really happy to see it. I saw a lot of Leafs fans on my timeline really happy to see it. And I was happy too. First off, I'm a Canucks fan. Second off, I'm a Leafs fan. I was happy about this. So... Seeing Levo come in here, scoring a goal, it was a really good feel-good story for all of us fans over here. But, unfortunately enough, this goal and an incredible goal by Tyler Mott, these were the only two goals that the Vancouver Canucks got, and as a result, the Vancouver Canucks lose, as Minnesota was able to score three on the power play. Oh boy, Vancouver and those power play opportunities really coming to bite them once again. It just doesn't work out. But... I will say that I'm very happy about this game because I made the active decision to start Devin Dubnik against Semyon Varlamov in my fantasy league. Yeah, I know, the YouTuber's fantasy league only has one starting goalie at a time, and I took Devin Dubnik to start over Semyon Varlamov because I was like, hey, he has a better chance of winning than Varlamov does, right? Because he's playing Vancouver, which is exactly what I did. I'm playing... Andrew Pillock Hockey, I believe, this week. So that's going to be a great matchup. And these wild players, I have Mikhail Granlin and Devin Dubnik, they got me points for this game, which I was very happy about. But obviously, I can't be too happy about that because they beat the Canucks in a really, uh, man, just unfortunate game for Vancouver fans to watch. But at the same time, Team Tank, let's go. Points for Besser and Pedersen. What more could you ask for, as well as a regulation loss? For the Tank, this is a great game, but it comes at the expense of the entertainment value and the sanity 
of all the Vancouver Canucks fans watching the game in Rogers Arena, as well as the ones watching all over the world on their TVs, just like me. But Devin Dubnik got a win. That's great for me. I love it. Oh boy. Can you tell it's only December? I <sighs> hope you guys enjoyed this video here, plus, and the show, Gaming, and bye.